Hi everyone, it's Krista here for the Tina Conte Foundation. Welcome back to our channel. If you do, consider subscribing. I guarantee you'll find something that you can use to help your nonprofit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an online Facebook event for your nonprofit organization. This is a great way to reach out to your community and to your donors in a whole other way due to the pandemic. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is come to your nonprofit's Facebook page. If you don't have a Facebook page or you don't know how to create one, I'll link a, a playlist up above in the cards that's all things Facebook, how to monetize your Facebook channel, how to create ads for your Facebook channel, how to create a Facebook page. So you can check that playlist out. You're going to go to your Facebook page at the top here. You're going to click on events. And as you can see, all your past events will be here. And if you have a new one that's coming up, you're going, it will be there. You're gonna click create new event. And you're given the option for in-person event or an online. So for this example, we're going to do online. It says video chat with messenger rooms, broadcast with Facebook Live, or add an external link. We're gonna click on that. Tournament, if we had a tournament, uh, or general. In general, we can add event details and choose our cover photo. And so we're going to make this a free event. The only difference between this and this is where it's paid, you'll be able to um, select a price. So we're going to make this a free event. And so to the left is where you'll put your event name. So I'm just going to say nonprofit dinner. Okay. I'm going to choose your start time. We'll say it's tomorrow. The location, it just automatically uh, populates this, but if you want to have it at your own place, you can put your name. And so here we are. And you can't change of uh, this. It says privacy public. It's always going to be public. And your description, you will add it there. Your category, you can say a dinner, drinks, dance, comedy, music, you can put whatever you want. Okay, so once you, and then you have to put something in the description. We'll put in free event and we'll hit next. Um, it says, this is pretty cool. Schedule a Facebook Live for your event so people can watch it. So when you click on that, it says go to live directly in your event, start your live video and people can watch. We'll re remind you shortly before the event starts, we'll send you a reminder or only you can go live. Co-hosts can request to join the broadcast, but only you can start it. So this is a great way to uh, reach out to your community for a live event. If you were planning something free, or just anything so that you can engage your community and, and your donors. Okay, external link, if we wanted a link, we could put it here or other, we can put details in the description. At the top here, you'll see, uh, this is the desktop, what it looks like, and this is what it looks like on mobile. Going interesting, and we've all seen these. Okay, so we're just gonna say other, then you're able to, this is the cover photo, this is our um, banner on Facebook, but here you're able to um, put whatever picture that you want. Once you do that, you can hit create event, and then it says boost your online event, raise awareness, uh, reach specific people, get more reactions and shares, and so forth. So your event is created, it's just that simple. At paid events quickly, you'll see that all the information is the same. So let's go ahead and put some information in there. Be the same. And here you come to price. So this is where you're able to put a price. If you want it to, you could say a dollar. Um, you can select how many people you want to attend. We can say 25. As you notice here at the bottom, it says uh, 25 spots will appear on the event page. And it looks like here we've extended the chance to keep 100% of the revenue you own. You can now pay zero fees. So you'll click more. So it must be something that Facebook is doing now for nonprofits. We'll keep the same picture. Everything's the same. Then you'll hit create event. It's going to show up 
Um, well, it's giving us some suggestions about how we want to promote the event, etc. We'll click OK. Now, once you create the event, it's going to show up on your nonprofit's page. You need to edit it and make some changes to it. It's going to bring you right back to that screen. Um, if you want to invite some people here, if you wanted to share it, share it to a page, share it to a group. Um, let's say you made a mistake and you'd say, uh, I want to allow free access to someone. I want to cancel the event. Um, I want to add it to the page. You know, you can do that. Cancel it. Uh, if you hit send free access, you can, which is pretty cool. You can put in someone's name, send it to them. They can get in for free. So let's say you want to cancel it because we realized we're not going to have this event at all. We're going to hit cancel. So it says you can cancel. Guests will be notified this event was canceled. Delete. Guests will be notified that the event was canceled and will automatically be funded. And everything posted to the event will be deleted, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and delete this because it's just a test. And now you'll see that the event is gone. This concludes this video on how to add an online event to Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you in the next video.